It takes a lot of cojones to be able to take a franchise like the Yakuza franchise, or now that it's called the Like a Dragon franchise, and completely change the way the game in and of itself is handled. But they did so with Yakuza Like a Dragon, and I don't think I ever want to go back, as this is one of the best turn-based RPGs that I have played in, well, maybe even a decade. So for those of you that aren't aware of the Like a Dragon franchise as a whole, it is an awesome franchise. I love this franchise. It has been more of a street brawler go around in these semi-open worlds and just do a bunch of crazy things. And they all, and I mean all of them, have a very intriguing story and it is just so much fun to be a part of this universe. And this one in particular, Yakuza Like a Dragon, follows in the footsteps of Ichiban Kazuga, who unfortunately ends up in prison for over 15 years for committing a crime that he didn't actually commit. He just took one for the team, and then that team basically abandoned him and left him for dead. This is a rags to riches story, and it is engrossing from beginning to end. And the thing that makes it so compelling is my boy Ichiban, whose name actually, I mean literally means the best. And you know what? I don't know if there's another male protagonist from any video game that I found myself cheering for. This guy might very well be my all-time favorite protagonist. His character is just so well done. And it's not just him, right? All of his companions, all of the other people you meet in this game, they all have interesting stories. And that's what's so amazing about this game is the main plot was more than enough. But all of the side stories that you get to experience in this game will just leave you feeling something in the end. And if the story wasn't enough to convince you to play this game, the combat will. It is a turn-based RPG, and all of their moves are based on how they would be in real life. For example, Namba, homeless guy, does homeless attacks and is your recovery-based person, where, for example, he will literally take a nap in the middle of the fight in order to recover his health. These are the type of things that are just so clever and well done within this game, and I can't believe they managed to pull all of this off. How on earth do you take a franchise that is more like an action-adventure, brawler-esque type of video game and turn it into a turn-based RPG and make it so compelling, complete with everything you expect to be in an RPG, with a very intricate leveling up system and status effects and characters that each have their own set in the battles, that they have their own moves and their times when they should attack and defend and recover, and they even have some really really cool and dynamic special moves they did it man they pulled it off in splendiferous fashion the only thing that really really sucks about this game has nothing to do with the game other than the fact that they threw in all of this obnoxious DLC that if you want to get all the bells and whistles you have to pay for and that does unfortunately include microtransactions when I played this game originally, they had paywalls for New Game Plus and a higher difficulty, which are kind of standards in the past entries and should be standards in most games. The fact that I had to pay extra just to get features that, in my opinion, should just straight up be in the game, that is just infuriating because that stuff is what brings a game down. I mean, we're talking about a video game that has so many fun side activities that you can do, like watching a movie and just trying to stay awake, and it becomes this quick time event and being able to correctly pick apart the moments that you need to in order to stay awake and hit the right buttons. These are the type of things that I will never forget because they're so absurd and yet they are so fun. And this game, from beginning to end, is a non-stop rollercoaster of pure entertainment and pure joy. Yakuza Like a Dragon is one of the best RPGs you can play, and it would have received my perfect score had it not been so egregious with all of the excess DLC and microtransactions. Those are the type of things that are holding this game back, because otherwise I wouldn't have faulted it for almost anything, because all of it was so much fun. If you're looking for a game that is just completely off the walls and way, way different to what you're used to, and that includes turn-based RPGs, I'm going to recommend you because of Like a Dragon. This game is awesome. Like I said, Ichiban really is the best. The characters, the story, the side activities, everything that you do in this game is just 
a lot of fun and it's very entertaining and it is so much better than it has any right to be. It is just that amazing. I am Bradley Overrated, out like a trout. Stay fresh, everybody, and I'll see you next time.